Hey everyone, Christopher here and welcome back to the Boldly Grow Homestead. Uh, sort of an impromptu video. Uh, we're supposed to uh, all of a sudden get what's likely to be our first frost tonight um, and or the next night. So I'm going to come out here and pick some of the things that I'm not sure will survive the frost. Um, like I got some Tabasco peppers back there. Um, I picked my uh, Jack Belittle. This one was ready to pick anyways. I have two more on the plant that aren't ready, but I honestly don't know if they survive frost or not. So I have to look that up before I uh, the evening gets too late. But even if they don't, I don't know if I can pick them if they're not ready. Anywho, I'm also picking the kohlrabi, which is really small, but and I know they'll probably be fine in the frost, but we're having a turkey dinner this weekend, so I was gonna I was gonna harvest them for it anyway, so. I'm just going to play it safe. All right, here we go. Homesteading, the original frontier. These are the adventures of the Boldly Grow Homestead. It's continuing mission to coexist with the environment, to find new plant varieties and new inspirations, to boldly grow like no one has grown before. Look at this beautiful eggplant. I know it's not a cabbage, but it's the best I got. Right, so we got a little harvest of Tabasco peppers and one small serrano. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I want wanted to try making my first hot sauce or Tabasco sauce, but I don't think I have nearly enough in there. And of course, most of them are not fully ripe. Um, but it is what it is. I'll figure out something. Uh, let me know what you think I should do with it. Um, and if I haven't used them by the time I <laughs> post this video, then maybe I'll try your option. Well, there you have it all. What's probably going to be the last harvest, or one of the last harvests of the season. Um, nice little flowers. My mother has pink hair. Pink's her favorite color, so I try to appease. Um, so yeah, I'll have a recap video coming out sometime this month or next month of the uh, wins and successes of this year and what I learned for uh, for my first year gardening. So. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, share, like, subscribe, and don't forget to build a grow. Well, it's the next morning. I uh, don't know what temperature it got to last night, but we didn't seem to have a killer frost yet. Uh, though the deer eating my kale still haven't gotten to eat any of my kale. So I, I mean, I already picked most of. The sensitive stuff yesterday but well keep letting it go until it can't uh, the two jack belittles that i didn't pick are still happy and healthy so hopefully they hurry up and ripen deer even pulled some of the bean plants out of the ground so not that these were going to produce much more at this point anyways but come on give me something here. 